Let's get in our next interview. Who are we talking to here? I'm Valerie Steele. Pull that mic closer to you. Right yeah, up on that mic. Valerie, can I have you hop down to the other mic? That, that one I'm getting a funky noise out of. Do you mind? Thank you. And, and what's your name while well, she's settle in there? Tony Valerie. Washington is my name. I'm sorry, Tony? Did you Tony Washington. How are you doing, Tony? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Hanging in there. Having a lot of computer problems, but I'll we, get over it. We've had Val Valerie here before. Yes, we have. Yes. I remember her hair. And I remember her being very good. I'm very envious. I do remember her being very good, too. Um, guys, let's talk a little bit about this charity thing we're doing next Tuesday night down there. Okay, um, when I was here, I was uh, I was with a band called Kamikaze, and we had a young guitar player, Sean uh, Maniac Toehill. Well, Sean's family's in very dire straits right now. His mother has brain cancer. His sister has leukemia. They just got they just lost their home, and they moved in with their grandmother, his mother's mother, who also has lung cancer. Wow! Who they should have had you on last? His job. Oh. And her treatments that she has to get, she has to go down south for the treatments. And I was racking my brain trying to think of what I could do to help. So I said, I talked to my friend Tony because she has Healthy Music Matter, an organization that helps musicians and artists in times like this and throws fundraisers. So we decided to get together and raise some money to help them in any kind of way that it would possibly help them, either to help get her down south for her medical treatments, help them pay some of the bills, but any way we can, we just want to help this cause. Wait, suddenly my computer problems are kind of trivial. Yeah, yeah. Like that yeah. 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 screw yeah. the Phillies. Yeah, Phillies don't mean too much. <laughs> that That's tough. What, what night is this now? It's Tuesday the 18th. Tuesday the 18th. And, and um, uh, we should all make the best effort to make it down here. We should. And um, are you going to have live acts down here, music, that sort of thing? Yes. Tell us the general feel tonight. How's it going to run? Well, we're going to have um, a few acts. Uh, I think Joe Sweeney is going to possibly be here with the uh, Deep Freeze. I will be performing. Sean will be performing. He does play for me. And any gigs that I can get him on, he's there. He does blues, he does rock, funk, and of course, you know, he's a metalhead. And of course, Miss Tony Washington. We we'll also did a gig here. <laughs> She'll be doing something too, right? Yes, I will, <laughs> definitely. And um, several other people. What time is this getting started for people and hopefully come down? Uh, we'd say around 8 o'clock. Around 8 p.m. And yes. then what do you think? Like 8 to midnight, something like yes. that? Yes. It's a Tuesday night? Yes. We'll try to get people out. And I assume we're going to do some kind of door cover or are you just going to collect uh, for yes. people? Well, we, we have a $10 uh, cover charge because we will be serving refresh refreshments, which will be cooked by yours truly and my family. Nice. nice. We're donating the food. What just, kind of food is it? Just out of curiosity. Well, we're just having like some finger food, like wings and uh, maybe a lunch meat tray, a vegetable tray. I'll be making some cupcakes, and um, I, I can't decide whether to give them away or sell them because I can't. People say I make really good cakes, but I, since I want to make a few dollars, I figure I give the people who pay a cupcake, and then if they want some more, they can buy one. That's not a bad idea. Just say, hey, look, it's going to a charity, it's going to a good cause. Buy a cupcake for, I don't know, five bucks. You know, i tell you what, when, when we get off the air, give me your information. I've got some shows coming up with my band, and we're always trying to, to you know, give something. That, I just, I, I feel like maybe our next show down here, maybe Halloween, like, because I know you're nice enough to let the door go to the bands. I bet you all those bands could probably forfeit the door. So just talk to me after the show. And, uh, okay. I definitely give me your information, okay? I, I think it's important for people to know, too, that um, I have a friend that has leukemia, and they really understand why they need to have fundraisers like this. A lot of these foundations that raise money uh, for cancer, leukemia, things like that, a lot of that money goes to helping individuals just to pay their co-pays on this stuff. That's a fair sure. I have a friend who's on, on, a, on a drug for his leukemia and he's taking one pill a day and his co-pay a month is like $800. For, for the co-pay, I mean, it's a $30,000 drug per month. I mean, it's ridiculous. That's it's insane, but th this is this is why they have these organizations, and this is why people raise money for things like this because the the costs just pile up. That's a shame. 
Um, why don't we do a song uh, for either from each of you or Boston? I just wanted to say that the fundraiser is being organized through the Philadelphia Blues Society, which is something that Val and I got together and started when, three or four months ago. Yes. Because there, you know, there's just none in Philadelphia. And it's free to join if anyone wants to join. It's free at least until probably next year, middle of next year, because it's new. We want folks to just, you know, belong and when when things come up where they need help and they need support, not just, you know, uh, serious illness, but in general with the music, especially when you're doing a lot of independent things, you do need uh, a support system. So we're there for that. Um, so we founded the Philadelphia Blues Society together, and I believe we have about 55 members. Um, I started an organization called Healthy Music Matters with another musician, another female musician, maybe about 11 years ago. And we have really been able to help a lot of people who needed resource information with burials. I mean, things that you probably could never imagine. You know, people, you know, actually coming out and saying they need help with. So um, this is just an extension, you know, of, of the Healthy Music Matters um, work that we do. And in conjunction with giving the resources of Music Cares, which is a really, really big organization out of New York and California that helps entertainers all over the place. So if you're not familiar with Music Cares, get on and check it out because I'm, I'm here to tell you uh, the things that they have done and, and, and the information that they have given us, is, it's just countless and endless. It's just wonderful. So thank you for having Val and myself. And I do blues and jazz, but I didn't want to talk too much about me. I wanted to talk about what you guys do and what we do, you know, to help other people. So thank you. Absolutely. And the fundraiser. You guys do good work, really. Do you guys have, uh, do you have websites or anything yes. for any of those uh, that you want to give out for any of those organizations or, uh, yeah. or anything? Well, there, uh, we do have websites for both, but believe me, if you just type in Tony Washington, you Google me, bling bling, it'll come up all over the place. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so you're right at the top of the Google list. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do it right now, Tony. T-O-N-I-W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-I-N. <laughs> But it's um T I N T I N I T O N. Um, that's oh. another Tony Washington. Yeah, it's uh www dot the Phila Blues Society dot webs dot com. And when when you say Blues Society, there's only one S. Like the S is shared between Blues and Society. Right, right. One so S. and the other one is Healthy Music Matters dot webs dot com. And the, the people that will be entertaining uh, for the fundraiser are from all kinds of walks of life, from a classical singer to, <laughs> I mean, it's just, we're going to have a, a lot of things going on. And it should be, um, it should be interesting, <laughs> and it should be fun, be that. and I'm sure that the family is, is very, very grateful, because I'm just happy to do it. You're such passionate women. This is awesome. I love hearing that. It's old school, man. Helping a neighbor out. Helping a friend out. Yeah. You don't get that too often. Yeah. Sean doesn't have to go early. back to school because he had to move. He's not in school right now. He will be performing as well. That's awesome, guys. He'll be yeah. representing the family because his mom can't come because she's so sick. And his dad will probably be working. So he'll be here uh, playing guitar for me. And uh, you can see us in videos on uh, ValerieSteel.com. That's V A L O R I S T E L L E dot com. And uh, the Philadelphia Blues Society, he's also our youngest member. And he has a video that he did with me. And he's doing a lot of lead guitar. He's playing to a part of the Trunkadelic. Um, oh, yeah. What is his name? <laughs> Red Hot Mama. That's nice. what he's playing. And he's, he took the lead. He had no rehearsals with the band either. I said, Sean, can you learn these songs? He nailed the songs better than the guys who supposed to know the songs. Yes, he did. I give him homework, he does it. That's why I respect him as a musician. That's the future. And look for it. He's got some great songs that we're working on. He's a good songwriter, too. Cool. I will put them. All right, guys, we've got to keep it moving. Thank you very much.